Can you control an Android phone with an Arduino? Well, the short answer is yes. But watch till the end to find the whole answer. To control an Android phone, we cannot use the famous Arduino Uno. The most straightforward way is to use an Arduino Leonardo or a Pro Micro. In this video, we will be using a Pro Micro. Technically, any Arduino board with an Mega 32U4 will work. For this experiment, you will also need an OEG adapter or a cable that can connect the Arduino and your mobile phone. Plug in your Arduino. And let's get coding. First, we include the built-in keyboard library. I will show you what you can change in this code. Change this Boolean here to toggle automatic demo, which I will demonstrate in a bit. If automatic demo is on, Make sure to unplug the Leonardo immediately once upload completes, or it will start messing with your computer. These are the shortcuts supported by my phone. You can get a list of the shortcuts supported on your phone by going into Settings, Additional Settings, Language and Input, Keyboard, Mouse and Trackpad, and Keyboard Shortcuts. You can now change these shortcuts to the ones that your phone supports. Also note that a lot of phones support more shortcuts than what is listed here. Link to the code is in the description or just visit techtalkies.in for all our projects. Upload the code. Connect the Arduino to an Android phone and voila. It almost looks like someone hacked your phone. You can use this to mess with your friends. We can take this a step further and add a few buttons. The schematics is on the website if you need it. Now our code already has the functions for the buttons. So, we just disable the automatic option. You can change the pins for the buttons here. Then you can see that we have assigned a shortcut for each button. You can add a list of operations if you want and make automations. Let's test it out. And there you go. Controlling an Android phone using an Arduino board is not only a creative project but also an exciting way to explore the intersection of two unique platforms. Let's look at some alternatives. Although the Atmega 32U4 is a great way to program USB projects, a better way is to use an STM32 board like the Blue Pill. The Arduino will show up as Arduino Leonardo in your device manager. While the STM boards can be programmed to mimic any USB devices, but they are a bit more complicated to set up and code. Comment if you want to see a video on how to do it. If you found this video informative and inspiring, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with your fellow DIY enthusiasts.